Hey, what's going on, everybody? Steve from the Graphite Lab here. I hope y'all are doing all right. I wanted to put together a tutorial that's a little bit less dependent on the CRM that you're using. Um, I know that historically, all the videos that we put together at the Graphite Lab are very geared towards, hey, how do I perform these particular actions or take advantage of these features or, you know, hack features in this particular CRM, whether you're in HubSpot, if you're in Service Titan, Jobber, you'll find them, uh, you'll find them throughout on our YouTube page. But what I really like to start, uh, start doing is providing you guys with some examples of things you can just apply. It doesn't matter what software you're using, this will universally be beneficial. So uh, first and foremost, I'm going to start with just the tools that I use that I get asked about pretty frequently. Um, first, being Tango, uh, Tango.us. I was turned on to this maybe um, like two, three years ago, but this is a SOP builder. Um, the nice thing is just how fast it makes this. Now, SOPs, like standard operating procedures, and if, uh, if you're running a business or if you're managing a business, you know that, hey, I have all of these, uh, I have the, the way that I like to do this, I have all these folks here who know exactly how I like to do this. When I bring new people on, I need them to pass that knowledge along. For a lot of people, that is just purely like tribal knowledge, right? Where, God forbid, right? But if, if your whole staff went in on, uh, on lotto tickets and they won, you're SOL, right? If all of your processes are known just by the people that are there and they're not written down anywhere. So a lot of folks will go through building these long, exhaustive SOPs, taking videos and screenshots and, you know, dot and jot uh, tutorials for it. That takes quite a bit of time. Um, I, you know, a little bit of inside baseball, did that for a living uh, for a couple of years. That takes a, an awful lot of, uh, of bandwidth, especially if you've got other stuff to do. So what we've started using here at the Graphite Lab, the system Tango, will follow your mouse and your keyboard across whatever software you're using, whether it's online, whether it's spreadsheets, if you're navigating QuickBooks, if you're, you know, it, it doesn't matter what you're putzing around with, you will be able to record an SOP on it that captures all of it very professionally you can then share this out with your team doing minimal work. Um, one other big reason that I shout this out to everybody is, and this, by the way, we are not sponsored by Tango. We have no, there ain't no promo code or partnership or any of that. I'm really just doing this because it's, uh, it saved me, I want to say no less than four hours a month for years now. Um, I, I'm sure it can do at least that for anyone watching this. We go here, right? And this, Pro License. Now, I'm not going to, uh, this is what I use, right? It's just the basic Pro. It's slightly better than a uh, than a free version. If you wanted to try it for free, just know it'll capture just a handful of things, right? You can only do 15 of these. So if all of your processes that you have in your business stick to 15 or less things that you need shared out with new employees or, you know, just to uh, reiterate with the staff that you already have, on how things are done. This can work, right? But pro is where you really open up a lot. Um, namely, because there's no cap on how many of these you can make, and it opens up what they call that desktop capture. But essentially, it's that thing that lets you record anything on your computer, not just what's in Google Chrome or Safari or you know whatever it may be. Um, also, you can white you can white label these. So. This does not say, you know, made by Tango. This says made by the Graphite Lab or made by whatever uh, whatever your company is. You can have your logos up there, all of that, and you can track how many people are actually looking at these things. Now, once you get up to here, this is a, a much, much different, um, much different product at that point, right? You're looking at like guided on-screen tutorials and, you know, it, it's, you're, you're, you're almost, uh, if you need business, um, you're developing heavy, uh, you're developing heavy workflows within a software you built, or if you need enterprise, odds are you 
you're a CRM at that point. You know what I mean? The uh, people that need enterprise are Salesforce, uh, Verizon, Service Titan, um, places like that would take advantage of the enterprise licensing here. All this is to say, y'all don't need that. Just go for a pro license and this will pay off itself 20 fold in, in about, give it a year's time. Um, anywho, as we, uh, as we go through here, right? I just wanted to show you um, kind of the interface when you are signed in, just so you get an idea of, hey, what, what's available to me. Um, I have here just a very, very basic, like, hey, here's activating business units, right? It'll spit out, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna go through and um, and build our own right here. So let's say we're gonna well we'll use Jobber for this one. All right, I want to show my team, hey, here's how you uh, convert a quote into a job within Jobber. Right? Let's pretend we're just getting off the ground with this system. I want to show everybody how it's done. What you want to do, right? I'll navigate over here just to, and you'll notice there's there's nothing in here. It's all just a demo account, but. I hit my Tango icon up here because I downloaded the desktop app, right? I'm able to capture it. I'm gonna go here, start my capture. Now, we've begun, right? First things first, I'm gonna slide this guy over there. Hopefully that doesn't uh, interfere. But for us, we wanna hit quotes, right? So we'll tap quotes. We then are going to jump into our sample clients, uh, quote here, and more actions convert to job. That's it, right? That's all I want to capture, right? You'll notice here now I've got this little checkbox. If I tap that, my six steps are captured. Now let's see how many of these. And one thing I do want to do is we'll hit um, creating jobs off quotes in Jobber, right? Name it, I can add a little description if I'd like to. Drag the highlighter, as you can see, anything you do, whether it's in your browser or not, a little bit of inside baseball here. This little guy that you see is a part of uh, Loom. There's gonna be another video on this coming out too, by the way. But it will capture anything, whether I did or not. So I'm at secure.getjobber.com, right? It just will tell you what website it is so that once I open this thing up, and we'll see it whenever it's um, whenever it's exported into a PDF, I just tap that, it'll bring it right through. So if I want to change the link here and go through, put a different starting point if I'd like it to be so, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Drag that thing again. Now, tap quotes, right? I'll go, instead of click here. And by the way, for an awful lot of websites, even this will automatically populate for you. So you don't even need to write click, like click here would say click quotes for, I don't wanna say a ton, but a good amount of web pages out there. So click on quotes, right? If, I, if I'm looking at this, I'm like, ooh, who knows? Maybe I need to zoom in a little bit. Maybe I need to zoom out a little bit. I can go in here, shift it out, right? Or Go ahead, move it around. Maybe I wanna show people my mug for some reason, right? But makes it pretty easy to do so. Now, even further, right? If I wanted to add some different text to this or if I wanted to edit this thing so I could blur certain parts of it, right? Let's say I didn't want anyone to see this, blur it out. Let's say I wanted to particularly grab an arrow that draws your attention right here. I can do so. If I wanted to change the color scheme, right? I mean. Our shtick here is a lot of uh, yellow and gold and, uh, and orange and whatnot. So, but let's say your colors are you know red and green. You can go through and change these things accordingly. Makes it very, very, very easy to, uh, to go through and just edit these things in ways that you would actually need to. So beyond that, click where the sample client is here. I just change, click the quote that appears right? Scroll on down here, click more actions and click convert. Now, at this point, if any of these is out of order, or you may notice like I double tap a lot of things, right? So I might have some stuff in here that's um, pretty needless. So if I wanted to keep it here, I could, I'm just going to delete that, just scrap it, right? 
first thing we need to worry about, click on quotes. Now click the quote that appears. Let's say I had a step in between here that I forgot though. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta remind people to do this as well. Go in, add steps, insert a step, right? Or capture with desktop. I then say, yeah, sure. It's now begun. I go back over here. Let's say that's all I wanted to show people was, hey, don't forget to, uh, to open that part up. You'll notice now we've got it highlighting these new uh, pieces of the puzzle. So again, very, very, very easy to, uh, to generate the screenshots. It'll capture where the little circles are, you name it. And again, on a lot of these sites, you won't even really need to change the names. Um, this also will work for completely outside files. Like let's say I wanted to, uh, to show somebody, hey, here's how you open the finder on, uh, on Mac and find your downloads, right? If I just wanted to do something like that. So this one here, by the way, done deal. If I wanna share this, right? I now have this thing published. I can export it however I'd like. Honestly, downloading PDFs is most common. Embedding this as well into really, I, I mean, anything you would generally embed into. If you'd like to do this into, like say you guys use Notion to store all of these, you just have the video pop right up there, no link necessary. Um, but if I, now where are, here we are. If I pull this guy up, here's what I'm looking at. And boom. Boom. If I hit that, by the way, that'll take me to the uh, the page that I need to be on to perform, right? Goes through, gives you the full walkthrough, exactly as we designed it to be, right? That took all of, what, two seconds of adjusting afterwards, as well as however long the process takes to, uh, to pull it off. Now, with stuff that's like five steps long, obviously this is uh, not going to be the, uh, the normal use of this. We're talking 10, 20 step things where you have multiple different softwares. So if I wanted to show you that, that um, the, uh, the files, right? If I wanna record something like that, start my capture, right? Capture started. I'm gonna go right here. I tell them hit finder. There we go. Now navigate to downloads and that's it, right? I'll hit save store my tango and let's see what goes so this is again me just putzing around there we go click it click it go and you can go in here adjust as it is but this is not limited to just what's on your website so if you have spreadsheets where it's now go to this part of a spreadsheet and update it here you have access to just building something that'll tell people how to do it just by you doing it and then changing the titles if you even need to. Um, I wish I had a, a good example offhand of one that does autofill the titles, but um, take my word for it. It does, not, not on all sites as you can see, but they do it on an awful lot of them. Um, but yeah, that's about a wrap for using this, uh, this system day to day. Again, it's like 20 bucks a month is, uh, is what you're looking at. And you then have a, uh, an SOP builder that will just capture all you're doing. Now, if you're more like myself, where you prefer everything to be video content, we're gonna have a, uh, a tutorial coming out for Loom, which is same system I'm using right now to create this. Um, incredibly easy way to share how-tos that involve a screen recording with your team and be able to track who's actually watching this, how far did they get in it. If anyone has questions, they can leave little questions right on it. You can have stuff where you point here and like a link comes up. Awesome, awesome software. So stay tuned for that one as well. Um, but yeah, this is Tango. I recommend you give it a shot. If you have any questions on it, by all means, give me a holler here. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you soon.